fish, yeah. Motherfucking gay fish, gay fish, fish yeah. Coming on a gay fish, yeah. That's alright, girl. Making love to other gay fish. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. We're here in the radio tower, and we're going to continue taking down the Team Rockets. So, here's this guy. Why did you open this door? Did you have something to do with this? Of course I did, you dummy. He is going to start off with Eradicate, and then he's going to have a coughing. I mean, come on, you're standing right there. You're, you're two steps away from the door. I mean, honestly, you can't see that it was me. And I forgot, I'm not wearing the Team Rocket uniform, but whatever, I don't think it makes a difference anymore. Anyway, today, um, yeah, we're going to be fighting some bosses. So here's the first one. It is Proton. We fought him before at the Slowpoke Well, so I guess we're going to fight him now. And he also gets a cool intro, even though he has very, very sucky Pokemon. So as you can see, well, he's going to start off with a Golbat. It's a little bit better, but it's not a great improvement from um, other stuff that we've seen Team Rocket use. So... I'm going to use Heifer and probably use Sen Headbutt to take it out, and because it's just a Golbat, I mean, Proton isn't that important in my opinion, so let's just take him down. And there goes his Golbat with a return. I was confused, however, so, you know, I did lose some damage, and he did a couple of wing attacks, so not too tough either way. Um, his next Pokemon is going to be Weezing. I'm going to try for a Zen Headbutt on that, and yeah, he is a Team Rocket admin, I guess, because, look, he's got a custom sprite, he's got the little intro, but... He's not, I, I wouldn't consider him an admin, just like Petrel, or Petrel, whatever you call him. Because, I mean, they have very generic Pokemon, I mean, and they're just not really that tough at all to beat, so. Whatever, let's take him down. And with that, we take out his Weezing, and Heifer is now level 34, hooray! And we've defeated Executive Proton, I thought he was like an admin, but apparently it's Executive, so. Um, here's an Ultra Ball, and there's that red-haired or pink-haired girl looking at him. Hello, I can see you, haha. -ha. Um, let's go upstairs some more, and we're gonna have a another boss fight. Ah, we're gonna have another boss fight this time against this ginger girl here, and her name is Ariana. We actually did a double battle with Lance against her and a Grunt. So yeah, this time it looks like you're really all alone. So it should be quite easy to finish you off. Of course not. So we're gonna fight Ariana now. We fought Proton. We fought Petrol back at the radio tower, and we just fought Proton. So. She's going to start off with an Arbok. I'm going to go for some digs on that. And it does have Intimidate, which lowers my attack. That could be a problem, but I don't think it'll be too much of a problem. And I guess she is kind of more important. Um, I, I believe she and Archer are the most important of the, um, all the executives. And I am paralyzed. Holy crap. I really hope I don't get paralyzed. That's okay, good. Um, Archer is definitely like the main boss. He does have quite different Pokemon, but um, she's got an Arbok. I mean, it's pretty cool. I, I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but hey, she's a ginger, yeah. And I know I, I contradicted myself saying last episode, like, oh yeah, guys, I'm not going to offend anyone, don't worry. And then a few days ago on Brown, I said, oh yeah, it doesn't matter, just get over with, or, or uh, deal with it. Yeah, it's the internet. But honestly, guys, if you want me to elaborate more on that, basically the message I was trying to deliver is, it's the internet. You're going to see a lot of things that you're most likely not going to like. Like, when you go on chat roulette, you, you guys know what you see on there if you've ever been on there. So, you know, you're going to see things that you don't like on the internet without trying. So, that's basically my message that I'm trying to deliver. I should have gone for Red Rocket. Maybe he would have evolved because he's, like, right about to evolve. But, you know, I think it'll be um, more exciting if he evolves in the Archer battle. Well, not really exciting. I, I don't think that's a very good word to use. Eh. It makes me, it reminds me of getting excited when you're doing, um, inappropriate things. Yeah. Anyway, um, her last Pokemon is a Vile Plume. And I am very strong, aren't I? So this wing attack should take it out, and we're done with that. Now, if you noticed in the intro, Batwink did get a new little thing. Um, what I'm trying to do is basically get, or put, like, the clips where you can, where I caught the Pokemon. Um, Batwink's clip was, like, in Mount Mortar, I think, and, um, Seaman's clip is the only one that's not where I caught him, but that's because the place where I caught him, it doesn't look like it's, um, a water-type kind of place, but, anyway, we're going up on the elevator, and here we go at the observation deck, the top floor of the radio tower. Looks a little bit like the lighthouse, but here we go, here's a blue-haired guy, so, I guess Team Rocket isn't run by gingers after all. Here's Archer. We've never met him before, but he's actually the lead of Team Rocket. He's taken over Giovanni's, um position, I guess. That should bring our boss Giovanni back from his solitary training. We're going to regain our former glory. I will not allow you to interfere with our meticulous plans, or whatever that word was. So here we're going up against Archer. He is the last boss of Team Rocket. He wears all white because he's pro like that. I mean, all the little Team Rocket grunts wear black, and he just wants to wear white, so... I don't know, maybe he's like white supremacist, or I don't know what he's doing here, but... 
He's not a ginger, that's for sure. And oh god, Fire Fang doesn't quite kill me, but does a lot of damage. So, I don't know, Jug might die. I am still paralyzed. Oh, wow. I guess there's a speed tie going on here. Because I didn't see Quick Claw kicking in, but um, I was faster for some reason. Unless he was going for Payback or something. No, not really. It doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, so there goes his first Pokemon, and now comes Houndoom, so I'm gonna go for Seaman, and hopefully take him out with a couple of Surf, or one Surf, maybe. Who knows? Um, Ball Caps will look pretty cool, actually. Yeah, I don't think... I, I, I probably did mention that, but I did put Ball Capsules on my Pokemon, and he's gonna go for a bite, but... Uh, I actually thought Psyduck and Golduck were half Psychic-type at first, but they're only Water-type, so they just have Psychic-type moves, and they tend to get headaches. Like in the anime where Misty Psyduck would get headaches and do that little annoying sound. And because he got a critical hit, I'm most likely, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice because he got a critical, so it's not even cool, man. That's not even cool. Why would you get a critical? No, no. So I'm going to go for Red Rocket against all odds, even though he is a fire type as well. He has quick attack, and therefore you're about to lose, Houndoom. Hopefully. Yes, you do. Ha ha. Um, a few more experience points, hopefully. And wow, level 36. And everyone knows what it means at level 36 for Quillava. So his last Pokemon is going to be Coughing. I'm going to switch out to Heifer. Take that out quickly. And then we're going to see what happens with Red Rocket at level 36. Of course, everyone should know. And I know yesterday I made the mistake saying that Feraligator evolves at level 30. Um, I got like a million comments telling me, Oh, you knew Feraligator evolves at level 30, not level 32. And actually, either way, it, both of us are wrong because it's Croconaw that evolves. See, Feraligator is already the final stage, so technically speaking, Croconaw evolves at level 30. It evolves into Feraligator. And of course, Heifer can't even take out a coughing, so I guess we'll go for Batwink and that should take it out. Maybe he'll get to level 34, I doubt it, so. That's impossible! You can't beat me! I'm too good! I'm better than you! Well, you wanna know why I beat you? It's because I'm a good kid and you guys are evil. Yeah. So there we go, he does get a level 34, and we've defeated Archer, which means we've taken down Team Rocket after like 4 or 5 episodes. And at level 36, Quilava is evolving. Congratulations! You finally got yourself a decent fire type with decent. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I was trying to go for um something there, but I guess I failed too. Anyway, like Giovanni has done before me, I will disband Team Rocket here today. Farewell. So that means no more Team Rocket forever. And as you guys know, in Ruby, Sapphire, Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, and Emerald, you've never seen Team Rocket ever again. So I guess they are officially disbanded. You're well worth this, please take it. And he's gonna give you the Silver Wing, which we're gonna use later on, probably much later on. Um, starting today, I will try to once again upload Brown and Soul Silver on the same day, um, or both on the same day, so. I know the subscriptions box is kinda screwed up for some people, and you only see one video from the person that uploaded it, so. Please check back on my channel and make sure that I've uploaded both Brown and Soul Silver. So, yeah. Um, a fake out? O okay, I don't know what he's saying there, but yeah, anyway, I'm most likely going to be uploading both Brown and Soul Silver this week, or for the rest of the weeks, until I run out of videos to upload for you guys. Um, I don't think I'm going to have the time to pre-record for while I'm on vacation, so I guess it'll be just like last year, where I uploaded um, videos every once in a while. Well, you know, I, I do have an idea for the summer. See, in the summer, um, if you guys don't know, I got myself Super Mario Galaxy a couple of days ago. Um, the day before it came out, basically, because I hacks, yeah. But anyway, I did get myself the game, and the thing is, I'll have very good internet while I'm in Florida, so... I will be able to upload those once again, if you guys didn't remember, um, the reason I quit, or I, I didn't quit, I, I plan on finishing it someday. But the reason I postponed Zelda is because of my slow internet, and it doesn't really let me upload, like, after a while, the upload cancels itself, so... Yeah, anyway... The point is, I do have Super Mario Galaxy, I'm playing through it right now, but I'm not recording it, so... If you guys want, I mean, during the summer, I'm not gonna have that much stuff to do, I mean, it's just gonna be a family, being at my family's house and doing stuff, so... I might just record Super Mario Galaxy and do it as a summer project kind of thing. So, you know, if you want that, I guess vote for it in the comments below. Uh, I tried to do a little Ray William Johnson, but you know what, whatever. Anyway, um... We've defeated everything. We've got ourselves a Coolio-type Lotion, so let's put him up first. 
and fly over to Mahogany Town once again, because now that we're done, we can finally proceed to the right, or the west, no, east, that's the east side, yeah, to the east of Mahogany Town. Um, let's see how much time we have. Okay, we're about out of time, I guess, so... Um, next time we'll proceed over to this area, Route 44, and I will see you guys next time.